guys, Absolute Dawless here, coming at you with a very, very loud truck in the background. Welcome to the One Piece Liverpool Regional Vlog. We are on our way to the Liverpool Regional now. We have just left my house uh, on our way to, uh, you know, go and attempt to top a One Piece Regional because somehow I have only got four 128s out of the four One Piece events that I've gone to. And for this one, I cannot play Trafalgar Law. Well, I could, but it just wouldn't be great because I wouldn't have my Namis, I wouldn't have the Dans, and I know there's been a <laughs> a Whitebeard variant, but I took a look at it and thought, yeah, that's not really for me. I don't think that will work for me. I don't think it's the way I personally will play the deck. It's just not my style. So we are going to this event with the Doflamingo deck, and I've been doing some testing with it. I've done so well at the last few locals that I've taken to playing it, and I think it's a very, very good choice to take. Now, do I think I'm going to do insanely well at this event? Honestly, I can't say. Like, Dofi, it's like I've only been testing the deck realistically for about two to three weeks since the ban list came out. And I've been just trying it, seeing if I liked it at first. Then I was transitioning between other decks as well. Finally hit the point where I was like, okay, I've got to start choosing my deck. And I was like, you know what? I like the Dofi deck. The Dofi deck works for me. And we're going to be taking Dofi to this event. And I feel like my build works. I'm playing like Guild Tesseros. I'm playing uh, the Queens. I'm playing Sugars. The 10 drop Dofi, which just feels like a big mum essentially, because you can really just skip your opponent's turn at times. Like, I've been trying everything in the deck, and I feel like my build is pretty solid. So, I'm quite confident. We're currently just waiting for the bus as well, guys. We're waiting so we can, well, get get to my mate's house, so we can then go get to the coach station for a six-hour coach ride. So, that's going to be very, very fun. But, anyway, guys, we are currently waiting for this bus. I will see you guys in a minute, most likely when we met up with our friends, maybe at the house, maybe at Finchley, maybe when we're on the train to get to Finchley. Like, we're getting the coach from Finchley Road, so it's gonna be fun. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Basically now, um, everybody has gone to go get snacks. I already brought stuff the night before, so I'm just waiting in like this little white area in like a convention center, or not a convention center, more of like a shopping mall. Um, funny enough, there was a Waterstones here and they had some One Piece product. My mate got here before us and got the Oni Kaido Structure Deck, which is a uh, pretty pretty good not gonna lie like that thing is worth a lot of money sealed right now so he put, picked that up instantly like the queens are now like 12 pound each or something and they, they were selling the structure deck for like i don't even know uh, i think it was 9.99 or something so he just <laughs> banked off that but um i'm just chilling while i wait for my mates to come back from sainsbury's at this point i feel absolutely tired right now because i was up really early like i've got all my bags and stuff like two bags like that's yeah, the one that's got all my card game one. stuff in it it's got my clothes in it and now it has snacks in it so it's heavy as hell <laughs> but um yeah we're just chilling right now relaxing while we wait uh i might get them in the vlog in a bit while we wait for the coach or when we're outside but i just thought we'd give a bit of an update seeing as we got to finish the okay um yeah i just yeah, we're here. We're in Finchley, we're waiting for the coach, and I'm just waiting for my mates to come back from Sainsbury's with all their snacks. Anyway, um, we'll catch you probably in a minute when they're all back. But yeah, just a little update. Alright, we're on the coach now. Reese is in the background. Oh, Hello, Reese. <laughs> so and then we got Ziad here. We're all on our journey. Uh, and then we got Mitch over there, but he's like. He, he, he's, he, he didn't even get on the vlog. He's in the front of us, so is what it is. Oh, and then there's someone waving in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on our way to Liverpool now, on the coach, going to play One Piece. We even met someone who did play One Piece, but is going to play Battle of Spirits Saga, which is actually kind of nice. But uh, we're going to chill, watch some Loki, actually. Oh, yeah, two episodes left in Loki. Yeah, we're going to finish that. Um, got my laptop all ready for that. <laughs> and, yeah, we're going to just chill on the coach for the next six hours and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, I know, I've got my cable and everything just to be safe. And, Reese, are you going to win? Yeah, he's, he's the one going to top, I'm the one going to flop. That's how it is. And then this one's just going to take my deck to victory. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, guys, we'll see you probably in Liverpool when we're at the accommodation or maybe at one of the two stops that we have, right? We have two stops. Yeah, so we'll see you in We just finished the longest coach ride ever. Six bloody hours on that thing. Um, no, it was more because we left at 11, 11 foot. Okay, fit five uh, four hours, 45 minutes, something like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we've just finished the longest coach ride. 
Um, we're in Liverpool now. We're just waiting for an Uber to come pick us up. Um, yeah, it's. We only, I only said I got to finish one episode of Loki because my internet cut out halfway through on my phone. So that was fun. But yeah, we are on our way. Hopefully, getting to the accommodation, resting, getting some food, all of that. And then we might do a bit of testing uh, just before the event starts. Got to sort out that boy's deck list because he hasn't uploaded it yet. I want to get the ratios right. You want to get the ratios right? I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, we are. We're going until 10 a.m. tomorrow, so. Yeah, but we want to get it sorted right. as soon as possible, don't we? Um, you rush, you make mistakes. <laughs> then I end up in a tournament with wrong. With an illegal deck, I know, yeah. I know. Anyway, guys, we are on our way to the accommodation. Had to call them to ensure everything was all right. And yeah, uh, everything's going well. We're on our way and I am tired after that coast journey. It was very long and we had very little leg room. It was uh, it was kind of peak and my back's killing me a bit. But hey, we are gonna be uh, going to the accommodation. All right guys, we have just literally got into the accommodation and this place is pretty damn nice. Like we got beds, we got two couches like <laughs> this is lovely like honestly i couldn't believe it and we got this place for a pretty good price the uh tenants allowed us a bit of a discount as well because we couldn't afford the extra charge that they had on for an extra person it was meant to be for four too but like this is a very nice accommodation like you've got a lovely kitchen space here um you've got like a fridge some cupboards lovely lovely counters here oh there's there's jordan she doesn't like being in the videos though <laughs> huh huh that is so stupid. Okay, apparently we can't go in the door. We, we need a sign to say if the door's open. I, I Lovely mirrors. Lovely mirrors. You get to see how my big body for a change. Because <laughs> you normally just see my chest and below. My chest and up, sorry. But um, yeah, this is a lovely room. And then the room that the uh, Reese and they, Jordan gets is this. It's lovely little room, actually. But like, lovely pictures here. Um, pretty much what we're going to be doing, though, is sorting out food now. Oh, Reese has appeared. Hi, Reese. God damn it, Reese. <laughs> he's the one who's probably going to top as well because he obviously, as you know, he's the one who took the last one of this event. But nonetheless, guys, ah, this is. Hey, uh, my bed. Get off. It's your bed, but it's a sofa. Get <laughs> um, this is a lovely accommodation. It's very nice. Like, I can't I'm believe how. You're sitting on my shit, man. I'm sitting on your shit. You mean your jumper? Yeah, get off it. <laughs> okay. I'm off it. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, that's bullying. No. no. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to sort our food, relax a bit, probably do a bit of testing. He's exploring. He's exploring. Um, and yeah, we're going to see what happens. So probably talk to you in a bit, maybe tomorrow. And yeah. Ah! We've eaten. We had some there, chicken for dinner. Some mad chicken after you yeah. demanded chicken. I didn't demand it. There was other options. Any <laughs> anyway, um, I've eaten. He's eaten. They've eaten. I'm being forced to play the Reese. Um, no, no, no. I'm being forced. <laughs> uh, so, yo. What the hell? I just got cards thrown at me. What the hell? What the hell just happened? I don't even know. Was that intentional? No. That was an accident. Why would I intentionally do that? I just hit you with a scatter. Well, um, Pokemon's flying. I used your cards. What the hell? Okay, that's uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, so yeah, cards are fine. But yeah, um, we're about to do some testing. I'm about to get basically destroyed by him because a smoker ruins Dopey's day. And I'll talk to you after the game. So finish the game. This is the first time trying, third time trying to record this because he keeps on copyright music. Or music is annoying um, in the background. But pretty much. Um, yeah, I got smacked by Smoker. I do not want to see a single Smoker tomorrow. I do not need to see a single Smoker tomorrow. If I see a Smoker tomorrow, I'm going to lose that game. Because I just can't get advantage. I've realised that with Dofi and it's just not a fun time. Um, yeah, but we also played uh, some One Piece Commander. Now, if you don't know what that is, if you've ever played Magic the Gathering Commander, then it's pretty much a format 
where you play similar to Commander, but you take some of the buddy battle rules and you pretty much play that. We played two games, I lost them both. <laughs> the first one I was playing my Dofi deck got targeted so hard by Smoker again and losing all my armies and stuff, yada yada yada, and getting smacked by that. It kind of sucked. I wasn't able to do anything. <laughs> and then the second one I played the Smoker deck because we switched decks around and yeah, I didn't get targeted, I just didn't draw good. Uh, I drew like two Kuzons, but I didn't draw really any removal, and then when I did have removal, it got removed instantly, so it is what it is, but yeah, we're just chilling now, relaxing, getting ready for tomorrow. Probably going to watch the last episode of Oat Loki, because we couldn't watch it on the coach. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of day one, or day zero of the travel day. Um, yeah, it is what it is, and... Uh, I like turtles. You like turtles. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so pretty much tomorrow we're going to play, we're going to see you in the morning, and hopefully we're going to win, and do well, and not see any smoker players, and all of that good stuff. Anyway, see, catch you guys in a bit, in the next day. Bye! Guys, day one begins, we are at the Liverpool, <laughs> the Liverpool Exhibition Centre, well they're doing all the card games, they got the giant monitor up there, but you can't see crap on the screen, because of it, it's not a good camera. But look at this line! <laughs> We are in this huge ass line right out of the way at the start. It literally goes on for ages and ages. Like, what the hell? We're obviously with the boys. This one, this one, and I won't show you because I don't think you want that on camera. And then this one who's also recording for his TikTok and looks like shady as fuck. <laughs> I'm here to steal. <laughs> but yeah, we are all um, just pretty much waiting in this show line. Them, show them the. I already have, I've shown them the line, look. Show them the screen so they can see what's They can't the really see it in the picture. Oh, your camera shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the front one, isn't it? Um, but yeah, we're pretty much here now. We're just waiting to get in. You've got the organized place staff. Just relaxing. And then you've got a lovely little view of the river over there from here, but you can't really tell. Maybe I'll show you it later. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to go ask what, what the filming policy inside is and everything. Media uh, Plus. I'll have to sign up for one then. It's fine. Uh, it is what it is. You have to sign up for a Media Plus before? Uh, not necessarily. That's not how it is everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how things are. And also, last time they held an event, they didn't. I didn't need a media pass. I could just film. Like, there's no way they're us I know. To get pictures. Huh? They're making us queue so they can get pictures. Yesterday, when we weren't here. No, they're, they're making us queue so they can take pictures. Take yeah. piss. Oh, smack that camera out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, uh, we're just relaxing right now, it, waiting for it to go. Well, round starts at 10. No, round round at 10. starts at 10. What time are we supposed to go in? I don't know, probably probably around 9 then, I would reckon. So probably in a few this, minutes. If this is the queue, yeah, we're getting in that time. True. <laughs> I mean, as long as they, depending on how fast they are. But yeah, I haven't seen anyone I know from my locals, but um, I'll probably film some more in a bit, guys. And uh, right, we are inside the venue. Uh, this is, oh god, that actually looks really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are inside now. Uh, we've got our tickets and everything to play the event. And we are here at the TCG Expo. Oh, oh, you're, you're fucking there too, you're fucking there too. Oh, you. <laughs> Where did where did Reese and Jordan go? I don't know. <laughs> they're Mitch. inside already. They, they've disappeared. I don't know. Let's have a look around though. Like first of all, that's all the tables for the play. That is mental. Look at all of that. All the vendors. And then you got vendors over there. Selling One Piece. Selling card games of all kinds. It's crazy. Like just looking around, they got Magic. They got Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, they even got some stock card stock. Ooh. I mean, the only one that's worth they got, oh, hey, Mitch. Oh, yeah, Mitch. <laughs> oh, Jax. No, you just find out. They got that white bit. Of course, a normal yeah, really cool white bit there. I'm not, I'm sorry, a normal. But yeah, we're in now. Queen Broncos. I'm going to see if they're going to be a white bit. No, I don't think they're going to Look at that. Oh, they got some weed, is it? Pretty cool. Robert. Yo. What's the quest? Find my pudding. That's so cool. The original trio. Thank you. I'm going to ruin it and get people to sign all over it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, like this stuff everywhere. They have OPO1. How's it going, guys? Pretty good. But yeah, we are going around now. I'm just going to have a look around, see what we're doing. But yeah, guys, like this is uh, this is pretty chill. Just looking around, like they've got lots of different cards. Though. Like there's the Pokemon stuff. There's sleeves and other cards. Like they got Digimon. I found something cool. That's cool. 
Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> So you can get yourself faced as Luffy if you come here as well. You put your face in that. That's pretty ne nice. They got a little booth there with all the Pokemon on it. Like, to be honest, this is actually kind of nice. Like, just looking around. Like, they've got a lot of different stuff. Oh, you got like chibis and stuff. You got fl plushes. If you want like Pokemon plushes. Some figures. Some rubbers as well. For some reason, they got rubbers. And look at all of this. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of booths here. There's like supposed to be unicorn cards here, X Vault if you uh, buy Mets off Amazon. Uh, oh, sorry, Binance off Amazon. There's all sorts. And you've got an eBay booth too. And they've got graded cards, they've got crystal Pokeballs, like, they've got all sorts of stuff. they even got the Devil Fruit. And you've got another booth here, which is Asgard Games, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know if it, I don't know who they are. I've never been there before. But yeah, this is a. This looks pretty good. Not gonna lie, like this is actually a pretty chill place right now. Like when they were tournament starts, I guarantee you it's gonna go crazy. But yeah, like just looking around, I'm having fun. Oh, I found a Reese. I found a Reese. Ah, why are you hitting me? <laughs> I have not seen the law mat. Oh, there's a law mat over on There's the a law mat. I see. Oh, look on Like all sorts of good stuff, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I love this. Like, I think I'm gonna, we're gonna go to one thing, gonna go to uh, some good stuff, and then we're gonna probably end this part of this bit. So, first of all, One Piece t-shirt, yeah? Monkey D. Luffy? That is Sky Pier, I think. Yes. Yes. And then, you got the lovely waifu from Yu-Gi-Oh! that everybody loves, but it's not my favorite. Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> Just sitting there as well, yeah, yeah, uh, the unicorn like, cars booth. What? Every vendor here is overpriced. I'm not surprised. Uh, <laughs> guess how much they're charging just for a old uh, art um, who's who? How much? 20. What? Did you hear that? 20 pound for an old art? You're, you're not in there. That's 20 pound? That's madness. They're like 8 pounds. Apparently every shop that had championship thingies are all gone. I see, understandable. But anyway guys, I think this is where I'll end this part of the vlog. We might get back after the first round. Turn anyway, the camera in, in, a second ago. And I'm going to be like, I want to try and start looking around. And I'm going to be honest guys, I cannot get to anything I want to see. Like if I want to look at something, I just can't get there. And it's so annoying. Like generally, it's actually crazy. But I have fun. actually now coming around it, we have found this amazing art place. There's some really cool arts on there, which actually looks pretty cool. Like, oh wow, that looks, look some of that Pokemon art right there, like that's a that's sick Umbreon. That's broken. <laughs> that, those, those look sick. But yeah, like, I can't actually see anything when I'm trying to look around. Like, I'm trying to look at all arts prices. One thing is, I my mate a minute ago saying that everything's overpriced, like, it is really expensive, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm looking at some things and I'm thinking, what the hell, how are you that expensive here? Like, that's crazy. And then there's other places where I'm just like, oh yeah, this could be reasonable. Like, the, the special white bit, there's only 30 quid and the Sakazuki's 50. Like, that's not terrible, I guess. But like, still, like, trying to get and look at what you need to look at, it's just like, can't even, can't even, man. It's a bit mad. <sighs> oh, I see some regular faces. Hello, you, you 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 don't mind being on vlog, do you? No, that's alright. So 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 we got the man Alex here from Locals, busted player, green lover, and he actually went through with it. He actually went through with it. He's on his purple Luffy, the best Luffy player in the UK, yeah. right here, and he's playing the, the new Luffy. He's ready. He's ready. <laughs> oh. You two feel confident for the event? Yeah, yeah. Are you still? Do you still want? Uh, are you looking for uh, those Otamas? I am. If you get them, I want. Okay. If you get one, I want. Simple as I want. <laughs> yeah. You got one. How much? I might be picking up an Otama now. Okay. In that case, I see. So, uh, trade didn't happen sadly. The Otama, I. People, he, he the lowest on card market right now is around fifty quid. And because obviously we're at the event now, the event hasn't started. I personally don't want to spend more than 40, so I made the offer. He said he'll think about it, so we're going to see what happens regardless. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully we can get a place out of that regardless, because I really want that Otama. It's a beautiful Otama. Um, but yeah, pretty much that trade didn't go through, sadly. It is what it is. Uh, it might go through later on, because he did see I have a think about it. Right now I'm just walking around looking for the mates. Hopefully we can find them. I don't see them. Though. I mean, they're probably in the crowd. Oh, I think I've spotted one of them. No, that's not him. But yeah, pretty much trade didn't go through, sadly. It is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. 
regardless. It, like <laughs> at the end of the day, we will get those with Tom. It's like we'll buy them this weekend. I'm gonna try everyone who I see who has one, who, pull, who pulls one. Um, and yeah, but ooh, there's some cool stuff in here. Uh, you got like some monkeys, some Pokemons. Uh, you got all of this. Then over here, you got some lovely One Piece stuff. You got the figures, which I've turned around. You got Dragon Ball Z going all the way down to Lord Kana. Stop for a second because I pressed the button by accident. On this side, you have more One Piece as well. You got like some Opio One stuff. You got Zoro there with his um, Ashura form. You got Zoro's card, Nami, which is actually kind of nice. A, P a Gem Mint Ten. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, and I have walked into his yard. So the all my binders for two hundred quid. Oh, really? Nice. The only value was the uh, uh, what do you call it? The Dark Rebellion X. Sorry, you did not sell that. I will. I have to. I'll get it back. No, you won't. Not that one. That's that was sentimental. Huh? Not that one. Why not that one? Because that's not the, the you, you will never get that one back. Why not? Because that's the one I got you. Oh right. I'm sorry, but I have to survive. Yeah. But anyway, walking around now, just looking for mates. We we, we discovered one who betrayed me. Um, I'm sorry. But yeah. I'm sorry. Just looking around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I hear you, but it sounds empty to me. <laughs> I told yep. you I have to say it. No, you didn't. But right now, I, where are people? I saw Mitch over there. You saw Mitch over there? In the trade section at the back. Where is the group? I don't even know where everyone is. Like, this is a bit mad. They made an announcement just now to call us, didn't they? To get ready? Because it's time. It's 10 o'clock. Is it 10? Yes. Yeah, no, it's 5 to 10. So it's about to start. So that means we're going to be starting a bit, guys. I can't find anyone but him, who's a traitor. Ah. And I will talk to you in a bit. Probably after round one, maybe at the start of round one, we'll see what happens. We've just got the uh, pairings. Everybody's gone off. I am on table 233. So I have got to find that. Sorry, 40, no, 43, not 33. Don't want to make a mistake. But we are going to go over there, show off our table, get ready to play our game, have a lovely experience, and uh, hopefully win. Anthony, I, I called you a minute ago and you ignored me. Oh, How dare you? What are you saying? Vlogged it. We all need to get together later and get a picture outside of one of those quick flyers. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Like we have to, it's the nation. We need it for the group chat. <laughs> I did. You alright? Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. This man stays the hell away from me in tournament. I do not want to see this man. He stays away. Right, seriously though, uh, 243, 243. I'm running into people I know already, it's great. <laughs> right, so this is the this is top table, so we're like table nine and stuff. Like top tables are there. People already made a mess of it. So I think I need to go that way. Oh, Ez! We finding all our boys at locals! Good luck. Good luck. Good luck man, I hope you win. 243, 243, 243. Oh we're hit, we're near it. Oh we got an end table spot. 243? Yes. Robert Grant, absolute dullest, nice to meet you. First opponent. Sorry if you. I'm sorry, I should have asked first. Anyway, we'll Just see you guys in the round one, and guess what? We got paired against Red Purple Moor. Now, I am not going to say that it is the worst matchup under the sun because that is definitely Smoker, because at least Red Purple Moor needs like the decreased cards to get rid of my stuff. But, damn, I, I lost that mainly because he opened like. He opened double Gordon. He had he got the Brook on lock and I just couldn't kill it because I needed to establish border or I would just lose. I was in a bad spot, man. I was in a very, very bad spot. So we lost that game. We lost because when I went to push, and it wasn't a bad push, it was just the only thing I could really do. He had the he had the counter to stop me from swinging and constantly go for big damage into game. And also, in the last turn, the last turn before mine, he was on free life. I had exactly the ability to swing three times. And if I was able to swing three times, I'd have won. But he used leader ability, got rid of a zero Buena Festa, and played the law blocker, stopping me from having that ability to just swing, 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 and come out on top. But hey, that is how the game goes sometimes. You are going to take those L's. Um, it's only round one. It's not the best place to take an L, but we can always go up from here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can win the rest of them. I'm hoping my mates are doing well too. And we're gonna find out. Anyway, um, round one loss against Red Purple Law. It is what it All is. Right, we just finished round three. This bastard is still XO. 
So yeah, <laughs> um, and pretty much it's been like this. Round two, we played the mirror match. Wanna know how I lost? Time. I lost the time, so I was X2. Uh, I lost two rounds at that point. I lost because eight drop kid, three eight six k blockers, and just unable to deal with it. Is what it is. I can't deal with it, so I lose to it uh, in time. Literally, I had like a, a same board. I had like uh, seven drop, like three seven drop kids, ten drop Dofi, Gil Tessero that kept drawing. Like I was in such an upward position, but I lost because I had less cards in deck in time. It really, really was sad. And yeah, it is what it is. So I'm currently X2 with that. But then round three, which we just played, I won. My opponent didn't turn up late for one, so that was great to hear. And then round, we played against Zeph. Uh, Zeph is not really a bad matchup unless they get everything they need. So I literally just had the perfect curve, played Nami, played Guild, played Luffy, um, then played 10 drop, locked his board, started drawing two cards every turn. So I was doing pretty well. I've done pretty well um, on that game. We won it. So we're currently 1-2. We've lost two, which kind of shit because I lost to terrible matchup round one with the uh, red-purple law. And then I lost round two due to time. Two due to time. But it was the mirror match. It happens, I guess. And eight drop kid. I hate that card. Anyway, uh, that's all for this round. I will see you guys in a minute. All right, finished round four just a minute ago. Still got one more round to a break. This boy is here. Why you sad? X1, uh, X3. He's still top. I'm X2 still. I played against Azoro, smacked him, not even that hard. This boy's X1 now. Oh, so I have a better yeah. score than Robert. Yeah. Yeah. By default. Listen, you didn't play all your games. You didn't play all your games. But yeah, we uh, played our rounds. Did, did all right, to be fair. Like, we, we played against the Zoro player. It was pretty much just a massacre. Like, I do not have any issues against Zoro. It's literally just, oh, you play your board, you try to hit me, I stop you from hitting me, and then I constantly kill your stuff, or I lock you when 10 down and win there. I had a guild test row, multiple 10 drops. It wasn't hard. I even set up the Uta and the uh, seven drop Luffy as well, so. It was a pretty easy game, to be honest. But we're currently going pretty well. We On the goal for the event, I've currently got two of the Otomas that I need. And we're going to probably open the packs in a second. So, in a second. For the uh, event, we get all of this. We get the uh, sleeves and the gold don, and then we get three event packs. Now, we're going to open this one last because this is the most important one. This is the one that has to have the Otama. Right, so first one that's not super relevant. If I can get the card down without damaging it. There we go, first one. We have gotten... Oh, the Luffy! Oh, no, the Luffy. Don't, don't shake my... Okay. <laughs> that's a good pull that's a good pull though next we got the Don uh, I would like a Zoro Don any any other Don but Chopper please Chopper um, oh wait is that that's the same Don you got isn't it that's Frankie okay so we got the Frankie Don if I can get it out <laughs> I couldn't get it out but we got the Frankie Don the lovely Sadar with the super and then the most important pack okay Otama 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 Otama, Otama. Otama. I, thank the heavens no, it's an Otama no it's not so, so if I could get it out, it is an Otama. It was an Otama. It is an Otama. Now it's a damaged Otama. No, it's still fine. So we have got the Otama, and that's the only thing I wanted. So very happy days, not bad. All right, guys, we just finished round five. We are going to get food right now. Everybody's behind me. I was trying not to. It was an accident. Doing better now. But yeah, everybody's doing well. X1, X1, still X3. We're doing good, but we're on the rush to get some food, eat. My round five was pretty good. It was against the mirror match again. Same build as round two, where they're playing like Trafalgar Law, kids, and all of that. But this time, I was able to just smack them. Guild Tessero drawing two every turn. <laughs> You're not playing it? Get screwed. Like, I'm going to draw two of them out, but out advantage you and just kill you in the long run. So, yeah, it was a very good match. I won. And. We have literally five more rounds left. So we're gonna get some food, eat, and then go on to the next Best round guys, in a bit. All right, so we just finished round number eight. Um, pretty much three rounds from now ago. <laughs> yeah, I've been a bit busy. I, I ended up talking to people after some of the rounds. So we haven't, we haven't uh, been able to get the camera on real, really at any point after that. But um, pretty much we are, at this point, X4. I kind of expected this. Not gonna lie, like Dofi is not 
and especially my deck, but it's not a terrible deck. It's a, it fits my place now, but it's not my, me. It's right. <laughs> so it just is what it is. But pretty much what happened was round number six, we played against Katakuri. I won that match. Uh, pretty much it came down to exact maths, and I won because I had the maths. Uh, round two, round seven, we played against Big Mum. Lovely girl I played against, actually. She was very nice. We had a lovely chat. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't get a camera because of, we just ended up talking the whole rest of the round but I lost to her pretty much how that game went was I opened double 10 drop Dofi free account 2k counters no way to play anything didn't draw an army till like turn 8 got guild on turn 2 so I had it the wrong way around and it just kind of screwed me over which was unfortunate um, that is what it is but yeah she was a lovely girl so I had a good game there and then round number eight which I just played well, that was just a shit show I'm not gonna lie to you guys like we didn't get an army so we weren't able to utilize her properly we got a ton of Uters uh, we did have a one 10 drop Dofi but he had multiple 10 drop big mums he was able to gain his life back like it, it was just it was a shit show essentially I just could not establish the board to a point where I could win and yeah like if I saw one 10 drop Dofi I would have won that game because I had the block of Luffy up. Like the, it, it came to the point where it was like he had two 10 drop Big Mums rested and his Katakuri rested, and he played an 8 drop Katakuri and put a Shirohoshi on top, putting him on free life. I had four characters to swing with. My only option at that point is to try to go for game, and the only way I could somewhat guarantee that is by going 7, then 9, then 9, and then 10. Just because if he takes the first hit, he gets the Shirohoshi, he does draw two and trash two, so he does fix his hand a bit, but there was just no hope after he countered that like I looked at my hand I was like yeah I've not drawn good this game I've got multi I've literally had two seven drop Luffy's out of life I've drawn more multiple seven drop Luffy's I had to queen putting myself back a turn because my turn three I needed to draw cards because I didn't have an army like it was a very unfortunate game and I don't know how bad I didn't limit ten drop big mom that's all I'm saying <laughs> but yeah like this is pretty much my game I'm gonna play the last one or two rounds uh, it might be 10, it might be 9, because uh, I could still potentially squeeze into 128. I doubt it, seeing as I lost the round 1 and 2. But, hey, we'll see what happens. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's five, It's 9 rounds. I've heard I, I, I've heard over there that the, the, the speakers say 10, then I've heard other judges say 9. I don't know what it is. But, yeah. Fair enough. But, yeah. Anyway, so it's, it is what it is. How's yours going? Oh, it's good. I just lose to not having triggers. That's pretty much how yellow is. I've counted my triggers the entire day. Six. Six triggers? In seven rounds. But what's your score? I lost three now. Yeah, so X3. Yeah. He, he's guaranteed Six. 128. No, I'm not. Pretty much. Uh, I have to win the X4. X4 can still make it. I have to pray. Oh, bro. Yeah, so pretty much we're going strong. I don't know how Reese is doing. We'll find that out later. But yeah, I'm going to enter the chopper side event tomorrow. I'm gonna go do that uh, now. We just finished the end of the day. Last two rounds, we played against Red Purple Luffy. Didn't do bad. Mayor Jared, have a good night. Didn't do bad. Uh, I just played the normal game against that. I drew the curve for, you, for the deck. Uh, but I was forced to go first, so I did it slightly differently where I just went to establish board and then swung on the first turn as well to kind of clear the board a bit, click, control the game. Got into the point where I had like two cards in hand double 10 drop Dofi won that game then final round was the mirror match once again but this was to be honest I've not played a proper mirror match all day I've only played against Lord Dofis or or Kaido Dofis or whatever you would call them um, where I'm playing film Dofi so it was a bit weird playing against all those different Dofis and the only one that I lost to was due to time I was ahead in every other game, but <laughs> we played that. We played that in the last round. I did the game. I controlled the board perfectly. I won the dice roll. Like is what it is. So we finished out six four. And <laughs> not gonna lie, we went. We came two hundred and first <laughs> out of six hundred people. Not great. Positive record is good, but I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really super expect to do well with this event without the one deck that I wanted to play, which was Law. I only had a bit of testing with it. I feel like my list was good, but when you brick against yellow decks and you go up against Law round one and you lose because of time on the round, it is just <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, not bad. Sadly, none of none of the group won uh, or topped. 
we, we all tried our best. Some of us just plateaued at the end there, but I think we all got at least 6-4. So not bad, not bad. But this is pretty much going to be the end of day one of the event. Tomorrow we are going to be doing the chopper side event. So not bad, not bad. We got, got one more event to play. Oh no, it's not a chopper. It's actually a Jozu side event because they're not doing choppers anymore. So it is what it is. But hey, tomorrow we are going to be doing that. And we're going to have some of it. So, yeah. See you tomorrow. Alright guys, we are at the venue for the, for the uh, TCG Expo One Piece event. Sorry, I'm walking past your thing. <laughs> um, and yeah, so pretty much we are day two. This is day two. We're starting it here. I chose to start here because, hey, it is the end of the event pretty much. And we are just going to be doing a chopper event today. So I thought we'd go around a bit, show you what the venue looks like a bit smaller. And yeah. So, pretty much, first of all, they've got the streaming area there. You can't see the screen, but they're streaming the finals, which is currently a Rebecca... Well, not the finals, actually. It's like top... Uh, I don't know what it is. It's a top cut match. That's all I know. Like, top 32 something. Top, maybe um, top, top 16? I don't know. We got here later than a lot of other people, so I don't really know what everything is, but... <laughs> Pretty much, we got. They're doing that over there. It's Rebecca versus Kid, though, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and pretty much, I'm just chilling until the event starts at 12. I've got to sign up and everything when they send out the link and stuff. But pretty much what I've done here so far, because we went around a bit before by myself, and there's actually some pretty cool things going on this afternoon. I've entered a raffle, so I'll be getting to do that, where we can potentially win like a magic card or a Pokemon Sylveon. No, not Sylveon. Um, something, but there's also something that I think I'll be really good at a shouting contest. And for those who don't know, I am very loud. I am a very loud person when it comes down to it because I just forget about my, my voice. I, I generally forget how loud I can get. So I never try to be loud. And what you can win from this shouting contest, what you can win is a manga sabo. We could potentially win a manga sabo for screaming. So, pretty much, we're going to try and do that later on. I think it's around 5 p.m. We're going to see if I can win that. If we can, we can. If we can't, we can't. But I'm, I'm very good at shouting. We'll see what happens with that. But there is one other thing we got, we did, I've done so far as well. Apparently, there was a stall giving out free packs if you just signed up to whatnot. So, we've got two OPO free packs, which I'm probably going to open in a minute on this vlog. And, yeah, we're just chilling right now, walking around, just seeing what we got. And, uh... Pretty much just exploring a bit again. Like, you never know what people have on the last day of an event. There's sometimes deals, sometimes all sorts. Like, you've got all sorts of vendors here, people. You can have whatever, you never know. Like, I've just taken a round trip just to have a bit of a sneaky peeky. Like, yeah, you've got lots of stuff. Like, you've even got these cool Pokemon minis that they're all free to be printed. So, lots of stuff. But anyway, we're gonna probably sit down, open these packs, see what we can get, and then we'll probably talk at the beginning of the, Chop the Jozu event. Or at the end of the well, after the first round of the Jozu event, we shall Down see. With people, let's see what we can get in these two free packs of Paramount, well, Pillars of Strength. We're hoping for obviously something good like um, Katakuri, All Arts, but you never know what we'll get. So we got the Curly, obviously, Kami, Avida, Kingbound, Galileo Company, Tooth, Jill, Oven, Zambi. Ah, so this is a leader pack, so probably nothing. Nami with a Bluno and the standard Don. The first one's nothing, but these were actually from two different boxes, so I don't know if we'll get anything good in either of them. But next pack, we've got Alvida, Gaimon, Mino Zebra, uh, Tropical Torment, Jill, Giant Gavel, Nero, Hachan, Wanzi, Zaban, Khalifa with. Oh, okay, Polly, that actually gets pretty good. Not bad. Alright, I'm starting this when a uh, announcement's going off for some stupid reason. Um, so, yeah, we just finished round one of the Jozu event. It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good, not gonna lie. Some cool games going on still. Um, I played against Red Purple War at the start of the event. So, yeah, worst, one of my worst matchups in the game. Um, luckily, I was able to clutch it out. It got to a very close point. I actually bricked the game as well, where I had no, like no Namis. Um, I played nothing the early game. I just kept swinging with Leader. I even swam with him for like 11 at one point, where I put six Dawn on him, so I just had nothing, and I was just able to clutch it. Um, Ten Drop Zofi is great, broken card, but he round tabled that away. And the end game pretty much came down to I have uh, the ability to swing three times. He has like three cards in hand, and he drops a block of lore. Very unfortunate, 
but it didn't matter, you know why? Because we top decked the sugar, and then I was just able to kill him with a uh, Nami that I did get at the end of the game, a 7 drop Luffy, and also my leader. So, yeah, game one went pretty, really well. To be honest though, like this Joju side event is a, it's a bit of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. It was supposed to, we didn't get the codes until 12 on the dot. The tournament started like 20 minutes late. <laughs> But nonetheless, we're in it now, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm, 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 I'm thinking I might do well in it. Like, I might go like X1 at the least, like at the most. Um, I think my deck build is still strong. Like, I wanna see how it does during the tournament, but we got five more rounds of Swiss for this because it's just, it's a Swiss tournament, there's no top cut. So hopefully we will come out on top with that Jozu, but there's like, uh, I think 66 players. Maybe six, yeah, 66 players because it's 33 tables um, and 33 matches on the actual Limitless app. So, yeah, round one was a W. We got another five rounds to go. And we're going to see how things are going. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to look around, see what the competition is. And, yeah, I'll see you probably after round two or three. All right, guys, we just finished round three, which is pretty good. Um, round two was against a great Dofi, the mirror match. Announcements going as I talk. Okay. Um, but, yeah. We won round two against Grape Dofi. Not even that hard. Uh, I know the mirror match in and out at this point. I didn't even draw a proper curve, but I was able to get to Guild Tessero, continue swinging, and just win it that way. Uh, round three was against the Zoro player. And honestly, I'm going to be honest, guys. Zoro is not an issue for me. I have very easy Zoro matchups. Every time I test against it, I win. I know the matchup through and through. Like, I just rest his stuff, get to 10 Dom, and then proceed to drop 10 drop, and then swing into his life constantly until he's dead because I kill all the characters, we go for a war of attrition. Zoro cannot out with attrition Dofi, especially when I'm searching with Nami, drawing with Gil Tessero. It's just GG's, right? But now that we've actually gotten finished the third round, we have got our event pack, so we're going to switch over and see what we can get in this. Guys, let's see what we get in our event pack for entering the Chopper event. And <laughs> funny enough, we got a Ryzo. Not one of the best ones you can pull, like the Luffy is definitely the best, but I'll take a Ryzo. He's very cool, he's very cool. All right, guys, we finished the Jozu event. We did pretty good, we did pretty good. Round four, sadly, we did lose to Purple, Red Purple Law. It is one of our worst matchups, so I'm not surprised. Plus, I opened really weird. I was forced to go first. I opened bad, like, and he dropped two Gordons turn one, so I couldn't really play anything and justifiably play and win. So, yeah, it was just unfortunate, that game. And then in the last round, we played against Blue Croc, and I smoked him. I smoked him. I had perfect curb. I had everything I needed. And we won the... Well, we came fourth in the event. <laughs> and he's... Hello. Uh, <laughs> and we won 10 event pack twos. Now, we're going to be opening up these at some point, either in this vlog or... Um, later in the day or in the shorts but we won 10 event packs not the Jozu sadly which would have been nice but I'll take 10 event packs right I went x1 got fourth place and won some event packs but now we're just chilling waiting for the uh, to do this new Star Wars game which looks cool like generally I like the artwork on the characters Han Solo does look a lot like the movie car counterpart Harrison it's not Harrison Ford Harrison Ford I forgot the name of his name I forgot his name Harrison Ford it is Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford's actor, and then we got Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Leia hiding in the corner there. And we're just going to try this game, see how it is, and um, I'll give you an update after we've done the trial. We're just chilling and waiting in line right now. Anyway, uh, I'll catch you in a minute. All right, guys, that is the end of the event. <laughs> we did the Star Wars demo. I'm not going to lie, it was pretty fun. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting game. Star Wars Unlimited is the game. Uh, it has pretty much back and forth gameplay where there's rounds, uh, you have mana resource where you can use a card in your hand every turn to go ahead and gain a mana. You start with two, putting two cards from your hand into your mana resource. And it's actually kind of cool because of the way it works is each player gets an action. Well, a player gets an action and then the next player takes an action. So for instance, if you played a character or a unit, the next player gets to do something before you can do something with that unit. So it's actually kind of interesting game, I'm not gonna lie. But for doing it, we did get some cool promo cards. We got, uh, <laughs> sorry, we got these lovely Darth Vader and Luke promo cards. These are like leaders for the deck, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. But <laughs> yeah, it was a fun game. But all in all, this whole event, a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Day one on the Sunday was a bit <laughs> unfortunate. Sorry if you're getting all windy blasted as well, guys. We are next to a river and that causes the wind. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was actually a fun event, I'm not gonna lie. Going X1 in the uh, Jozu event, going <laughs> X64 in the main event. 
I can't really complain at the end of the day, but hey, I think this is gonna be where we end the vlog bit of the video. Like, <laughs> are you, you wanna say anything? Um, there's not much to say. It was a very good event, bearing in mind that I haven't played the game for one year. So the last time I played an event was the Birmingham Treasure the Cup. The last vlog. <laughs> yeah, the last vlog, the Birmingham Treasure Cup. And I did terribly in that. So for me, my objective in this tournament was to do better and be better. And I feel like I did that because I went 6-4 and all my losses were to the same deck which was the uh, purple green Dolph Flamingo so filmed uh, film is it? Film, uh, film Dolphy film Dolphy yeah so I lost or uh, the Kaido Dolphy it, or I don't know but I, either way all four of my losses were to that particular deck and I just got unlucky um, I really did have fun it was very well organized compared to the Birmingham World Cup since in the Birm sorry, Treasure Cup, because Birmingham Treasure Cup had nothing going on after other than the main event itself. Yeah, they kind of screwed everyone except yeah. for the chopper event. Um, my only quarrel would be that the vendors here were extremely overpriced. Extremely overpriced. When I say extremely, we're talking like two pound cards going for like seven or eight or nine. And some of them weren't like necessary cards or cards played right now. That's my only crawl, but otherwise everything was nice. Everything was fun. Had a good time with all my friends, especially Absolute Fearless. Hi. <laughs> my final words will be uh, follow me now. Uh, collect D cards on TikTok. I'll be posting more, more. You can see my vlogs as well. And yeah, thank you for watching our yeah. vlog. <laughs> yeah, so this is probably going to be the end of it. Might be a little more on the coach or something. I don't know. But. Uh, yeah, if there's something after this, there's something after this. Otherwise, you'll be probably seeing a deck profile and a little short talk after this bit. So, yeah, very fun event, not gonna lie. Didn't do as well as one is in the main event, but I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get there. And uh, we actually did some good stuff. We got a place out there as a timer. So, yeah, anyway, guys, we'll catch you in a minute. Uh, if this goes to the discussion part where I'm just gonna talk about the event, fair enough. Um, if not, well, <laughs> I'll see you guys at home. In a bit, guys. All right, guys, that's the end of the vlog. And as you may be able to tell, my voice is gone, guys. Um, pretty much after the shine contest that we did in the event, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the actual vlog portion of the video, um, my voice started to go worse and worse and worse. And after the coach trip home, which I'm going to be honest, guys, was absolutely terrible. Six hours on a coach and very finding it very hard to sleep on that coach because the ghost driver literally had the light on for like two hours of the journey and pretty much finding the seat very uncomfortable and being next to other people and being on the aisle seat as well made it really hard to actually get some shy and I couldn't even put the seat back because there's people behind me. Like generally that was awful, but nonetheless, I've lost my voice. The way back was terrible, but the event itself guys, I had a lot of fun. Like the event in, in general was great guys. I had a lot of fun throughout the entire event. Like day one, yes, we did have a little bit of hiccups where we lost round one and round two and then lost round seven and eight, which is kind of unfortunate because we obviously lost round one because well, we were up against red purple law, like we weren't able to do anything. And then we lost round two because of mirror match time on the round where he just had tons of blockers in the eight drop kit and I just couldn't remove it. It was just kind of unfortunate. But nonetheless, we did really well throughout the event. Like we went 6-4 on day one, which honestly isn't terrible. It's like the lowest I've done in an event. So I really can't complain. And I was kind of hit not being able to play my red green lore deck, the one that I wanted to play during this event. And throughout the event, we even went into day two, where we went into the Jozu side event, where we actually did really well coming fourth place only losing one game to a red green law player which we bricked against and also were forced to go first against so we were just in a very bad position while playing red purple dofi right but overall i think the event went really really well like we did great like from coming fourth in the side event i got 10 event packs which is really just stupendous i'm very happy with that and i was even able to pick up a couple of things and get a couple of things from the event as well such as like we got this jinbei don from a friend of mine like they gave it to me for some of the value they owed me in other trades i was able to get the blue luffy in my actual entry pack along with the actual jinbei don as well in my entry pack which is actually very super if you know what i mean and then the main goal of my journey to this event we got the four 
alt art otamas that I wanted from this event. I wanted four of these very, very badly for my lore deck, especially seeing as it's getting unhit now. And I wanted a play set for alt arts to make the deck look really, really nice. So yeah we got some really cool things and we also did the star wars unlimited card game side event that uh, we did i talked about just before the end of the blog bit where we actually got some really cool promos where we got darth vader a sort of leader thing that they have where the card game is essentially you go by rounds you get mana resource where you use cards in your hand and place them down that's your mana and then you draw two cards each turn and each player can essentially make one action per per round essentially where you make an action then it goes to your opponent then it goes back to you and then it just keeps going back and forth which was really interesting and we got the Darth Vader and the Luke Skywalker as well which are really cool and they even have like backs as well where they start off like this and then when you get to a certain amount of mana if using cards in your hand you flip them up onto their actual side where you can start using them so it, it was an actual fun card game I'm not gonna lie it might be something I try in the future on the channel I don't know yet but Star Wars is obviously cool and being able to get both Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker as a promo like that's that's pretty sick but guys overall I feel like the event was run really really well there was a lot of time like we always were able to get to our rounds games went fast like I don't really think there was any major issues throughout the event day one was great i didn't really have any issues on day one like outside of obviously the round one where it's just like okay you got to time who has less cards in deck because we're both on zero life me because i drew like 30 cards with guild tessero guys i was just drawing mad that card is insane but nonetheless we did really really well i think on day one going six four and then on day two just going into the Josie event and coming fourth place in that so yeah i feel like the event was run really really well the judges were really nice fun to play with and i'm not gonna lie the shouting contest that was a bit rigged guys i'm not even gonna lie like i was shouting my my goddamn hardest and i'm a very loud person the only one who i could say was competition for my voice was next to me and they threw the manga sabo prize for the shouting contest in the middle of the god damn group me and this guy who was shouting more than anyone else were on the left side and they threw it directly in the middle like that was just a bit of an annoyance so yeah it is what it is when it, at the end of the day where it's, it's like oh okay ebay so you throw it wherever but that's just it, it was a bit of fun though not gonna lie i did come out with something some cool things from that like i got some ebay sleeves which were throwing like they were throwing out a ton of stuff which has like their qr code on for like their card trading browsing thing which is um all right and they're not dragon shield they're not like top quality dragon shield i can already tell just by feeling them but nonetheless it's pretty cool and i also managed to grab these ebay card holder stand things like i don't think personally i'll be using them because there's not really anything i can um do with them because i like to put mine in like acrylic cases if i'm gonna display my cards like that's just how i personally am but yeah it's like i got some things from that as well which was kind of cool but nonetheless guys the event was great the event was fun and just to end out this video guys i'm gonna go ahead and show you the whole deck list that i played for day one and day two in the side event so you guys can see essentially what i played all right guys so this is the deck profile we played for the liverpool regional and the liverpool side event where i came fourth place and pretty much we played great Dofi, the green purple Dofi deck with the ability that says at the end of your turn set two dawn as active making events really really strong and for those of you watching this not at the end of the vlog um my voice is essentially gone if you want to find out how that happened at the regional just watch the vlog uh, it will be on the channel and yeah <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into the deck profile so what did we actually win and lose to well in the actual event we went 6-4 losing out to red purple law lord Dofi due to time on the round and then and I also lost to two category players because I bricked both of those games. And then we also took W's against Zoros, Zephy, um, a category player, Red Purple Luffy player, and Lord Do another Lord Dofi player, and another Lord Dofi player. We took out literally two Lord Dofis, Zoro, Zephy, Katakuri, and Red Purple Luffy. So we took out six rounds in that, but what did we play in the side event that we actually did well in? Well, in the side event, we played round one against Red Purple Law. We won that game. Round two was against Film Dofi Mirror Match, the first one I had played all weekend, including the main event. Side event, we also beat Zoro in the round three. 
round four. He played against Red Purple Law, losing the dice roll and also bricking really hard. And on turn one, he played double Gordon. So I just didn't really have a way to deal with him. And then in round five, my last round of the side event, we played against Blue Croc taking the W there. So we had a very fun time all out the weekend. For those of you who want to know what happened, go watch the vlog. It'll be up on the channel either before or after this. We'll see what happens. And yeah, I hope you do enjoy. But let's go ahead and get into the deck profile so you guys can see what we played in our red purple dopey list. So I played, uh, sorry, not red purple, green purple. So I played a film variant of Dofi because I felt like it was better than the Kaido slash Law variant that was running around at the event. And what did we play in the deck? Well, starting off, we played four Guild Tessero. Uh, this is the Nami of the deck, essentially, and it's a 2k counter. On play, look at the top five cards of your deck and add a film card into your hand. This will normally be Guild Tessero or a film Nami because they allow you to search more cards or draw more cards. Next, we obviously, as I said, play four film Nami. Heart and soul on the deck. You want to see this in your opening hand every single time because this card is going to allow you to go through your deck, get more cards, get you to the things that you need and keep your hand big because that's one of the good things about film Dofi where your hand size is just always huge from drawing with Guild Tessero, searching with Nami and so on and so forth. And then the only other two consistency cards that we really played in the deck is two Guild Tessero. Um, Guild Tessero is absolutely insane. This card is phenomenal. Just being a card that says Neg 2 Don, draw two is absolutely insane. Now you do want to mainly only use this when you're on 10 Don. So if you do play this, be very careful about how you play it. But this card is absolutely mandatory. It's absolutely insane. And it really is just an insanely good card in the deck. I really would not play this deck without it because just just being a card that says draw two it helps so much and especially in the game that I even lost in time it did technically lose me the game because i had less cards in my opponent when we hit time but nonetheless like this card kept me in so many games won me so many matches that it's just like oh yeah if i drop this on turn three every single time i'm going to keep drawing two cards i'm going to keep having that advantage and if i have this in an army and they go for the nami instead of going for this i'm going to let this die so i can protect this just because this card absolutely and phenomenal absolutely insane so yeah guild tessero is nuts and then a semi good consistency card that we also played is technically free queen Queen is okay. Um, I personally don't like him. Uh, I play him at free purely because if we don't have the Guild Tessero, then he is a good plan B where we go ahead and drop him. Negadon, draw two, discard one. And also he's a 6k blocker, which can be pretty decent. But his downside is that you can't get to 10 as easy as you want to because you're going to keep negging your Don. And if you get Guild Tessero on the board with him, then it's just going to be hard to get to your 10 Don to go ahead and drop your 10 drop Dofi, which is kind of unfortunate. But he is very good. Don't get me wrong he does have his utilities to draw cards being a blocker which is very very nice i just prefer to drop guild tessero over him if i see them if i don't see guild tessero or maybe a second Nami to drop, I'll drop the Queen because drawing two cards and discarding one, as I said, is decent. But the majority of the time, I want to be dropping a Guild Tessera or Nami because they actually let me surge or get me cards without losing any advantage, which is the main part of the cards, right? Do apologize for my voice, guys. I really can't help it. But anyway, that's the uh, consistency cards of the deck. What's the rest of the deck? So we play four sugar. Card is absolutely insane. Um, this card has multiple uses. Uh, if you're going into the nine don term and you have film Luffy, you can go ahead and drop film Luffy, drop another card, and then drop Bliss. So on your following turn, your ten drop Dofi is guaranteed to rest any high cost character in like Katakuri or anything along those lines. It makes this card very, very good. In the late game as well, you just drop her, go ahead and rest a four cost or less blocker and then you can win the game that actually did come up quite a few times where i just go ahead and drop this to go ahead and deal with a character on board or to go ahead and deal with a blocker to go for game card is very very good uh, we also play the four film chopper it's a 2k counter i only played it once during the side event and that was the red purple law game i lost to try and deal with the gordons and we also play two shiki which is just another 2k counter that's all these cards are for um next we played the film package which i'm gonna go ahead and give you a lot more of which is the two usap two uh brook now we played this specific lineup of these film cards because we want to go ahead and drop brook off of the luffy sometimes or we can go ahead and drop brook into usup or brook into nami and then we play the usup so we have an additional two cards that we can drop off the brook as well like that's the whole purpose of this line and i feel like two brook was enough like i didn't really feel like i ever missed it because the card that we mainly want to be dropping off of it is the uta when it comes to the film luffy where if we are forced to go like into any other combo we want to go 
go ahead and drop this off the Luffy so we can have essentially three blocks on the board to kind of control the board and keep the game in our favor. But when it comes down to the Brook, the Brook is also very nice if you're forced to go first, where if you open Nami and you open Brook, you're not going to drop the Nami. You only drop Nami if you're going to get advantage out of it. So the majority of the time, what I would do is I would save the Nami if I had the Brook and then just drop the Brook with the Nami to go ahead and guarantee that I can search out the Nami and still have two bodies on the board, which is still really, really nice. So it did come up very often like that too. But then we also, as I said, played the film Uta. Like this is the best card to drop off of the seven drop Luffy, the film Luffy, because essentially what this card does is on block, it can negadon to go ahead and say, oh yeah, this five cost or less on your board is rested now. It's very useful and came in clutch a lot of times. So obviously we played it. And then we also on top of that, obviously played the four film Luffy. Um, this is great for if you're on seven Don or Eight, well, primarily eight Don to go ahead and drop this, drop the Brook, and then drop an Usa up, or go ahead and drop this and drop the film Uta to go ahead and have a blocker or multiple swings. Like that's the good thing about this deck; it's very aggro, while also having a lot of protection built in, which is something that I really liked about this deck going into the event. So it was very, very nice playing it all throughout the event. And then the last character we played in the deck was the four ten drop Dofi. Guys, when I say this card is just the backbone of Doflamingo. I really mean it. Like, this is probably the best card ever printed. I put this on the level of 10 drop Big Mom, because essentially what this card is going to do, if you drop this card, it's going to say, oh, you've played your turn. That's cool and all, but you know what? Now that all of your stuff is rested, I'm going to rest your leader and two other characters, and then just say your turn is essentially skipped on the next turn. Yes, you may be able to play some other characters. Yes, you may be able to do other stuff like that, but this card right here, this 10 drop Dofi, Nah, you, you, you're you finished, you're finished, you're done. You're not playing the game, you're not winning the game, you are finished for the fact that, essentially, I've put a 10 card on the board. I said your leader or other characters cannot swing or restand. I've taken away your ability to do a lot of the things that you want to do on your turn, and I'm able to just go ahead and do this continuously if I have multiple in my hand. And if I, compare, if I combine this with the sugar, with the sugar then like if they play a character and i rest the sugar resting their new character then i guarantee a target to rest with the 10 drop dofi there were so many times throughout the event where i literally was just like okay i'm gonna drop the sugar rest a card on the board and then if you play a card on the following turn then i'm gonna rest the sugar and rest that card and even if you play a small character i'm not worried because yes i'm still resting that card but the chances are i have a seven drop luffy on the board and i'm able to protect the sugar for following turns meaning that whatever you play going forward is going to get rested i'm going to kill some on your board I'm gonna play the tendro dofi and then i'm just gonna win the game from there because of dendro dofi just says you can't utilize those characters anymore so it is a very very strong card and absolutely insane card in the deck in my opinion and then going on to events i played 11 events i played for punk gibson um very strong 4k counter that says the can rest a four cost or less uh honestly i might have actually changed this ratio though uh, which i'll say about in a minute for spider web this card is absolutely insane um being a card that literally just says i can restand a blocker restanding uta restanding dofi restanding queen restanding luffy like restanding anything restanding nami is to stop the nami from being swung out again like this card was absolutely insane throughout the entire event and being able to play guild tessera let me just draw into these phenomenal and then the last one which actually i wish i played four of and played free gibson instead is free thunder bugawa um bugawa is phenomenal like honestly bugawa is a card that i really wish before the event i realized i want to play four of this because if you go first with this deck it is very very annoying to go ahead and play the game going first and i would much prefer to have played this at four for the fact that it essentially means if i go first and I see this card, I'm still going second. Like, I may lose out on drawing a card, but the Don is what I mainly care about. Having the additional Don to stay on curb with, like, being able to go turn two, play the Nami, get the search, being able to go turn, turn five, play the Doflamingo. Like, these things are very important in the deck, and seeing this off life, seeing this in hand when I'm on two life, because of in this deck, I always take the first two life. Like, you, you, you never need to take less than the first two life. Like, the first two life are fine to take. It's after that you got to be careful. It's just like, this card was absolutely phenomenal, and I wish I played four of this. I'd have played three Gibson and played four of this instead, because this card... Like, in the early game, it's absolutely phenomenal. Like, don't get me wrong, this is great in the late game. But, like, this is what you need if you're going first. Like, this is really something important, and I really...
really did realize that through the event in some of the games that I actually lost. Like, if I wasn't forced to go first in, like, maybe one of the big mom games, that, or sorry, Katakuri games I played, like, this card would have been just so good to get me back on curb but anyway guys like that is the vlog that's the video that's everything um that's the end of the youtube video as well like tell me your thoughts of everything tell me your thoughts of the event tell me your thoughts of uh, if you enjoyed the vlog tell me if you enjoyed this deck profile tell me if there's things you've learned from this um honestly the event was ran very very well i enjoyed the side event the main event i met a lot of cool people had a lot of fun throughout the entire weekend and generally i'm just happy that the event happened but guys please don't forget to like comment and subscribe on this video and also the vlog and i'll see you guys in the next one absolute dawnist signing out later